the last video, which was really a promo for this one, I posed the question, does the sun really rise in the east? Now, before we can answer this, we have to understand a few concepts. The first of which is the celestial sphere. One of the very first ideas that we need to firmly grasp are that of rest and motion. Although these words are part of our daily language, we need to be clear about them. Look at this toy attached to the car. If we neglect the slight sway of the toy, we could say that relative to the camera, the toy is stationary. However, relative to the bridge, the toy, the car and the camera all are in motion. The words rest and motion only make sense when we specify them relative to some object. For our purposes, to study the motion of stars, we will use the Earth as the reference body. In fact, all early civilizations studied the stars in the same way. And this study of stars over the ages has evolved into what is today known as observational astronomy. Now, standing on the Earth, what do you see when you look up at the night sky? It appears like a huge hemispherical dome in which the stars move. This is exactly what the ancients thought. They assumed that the Earth is at the center of a huge sphere on which the stars dance their dances. Although no such sphere physically exists, nonetheless, this idea is extremely useful for studying the across-the-sky motions that we observe. This sphere is called the celestial sphere and is assumed to have a gigantic radius. In whatever follows, for now, do not worry about the distances. Think of this as a view from the window of a train. From, from the window of a train, you see trees, you see faraway mountains, and you know they are at different distances from you and they are of different sizes. But you can still draw that view on a single piece of paper. This is exactly what we are doing here. The sun, the planets and the stars are all at different distances from us, but we are now drawing them not on a plain sheet of paper, but on the inner surface of a spherical dome around us. The figure shows the Earth surrounded by a celestial sphere. The sizes are all wrong in this figure. The celestial sphere is incredibly large and in comparison, the Earth is almost a dot. But we can't really draw that. So we draw regular sized stuff, bearing in mind the very vast differences in their sizes. In the next video, we will be talking of the motions of the stars on this very celestial sphere. And we will be shifting to a new view called the local horizon view as shown. Till then, enjoy the animation. Goodbye.